Welcome to Altium Designer 17 Advanced PCB Course. This module will cover length tuning of nets and differential pairs. Length tuning is used when the signal propagation delay time, aka the trace length, must fall within a particular fixed set of constraints. Whereas matched lengths are used to ensure that the signals all arrive at the same time relative to each other. Starting with the length rule and tuning. Open up the PC board rules and then expand if needed the high speed group for rules and then pick the length. Checking the length line rule, we have a class of nets, the line class, that have a minimum and maximum length of 2800 to 3200 mils. Let's look at the nets in the line class. All the nets that are less than the minimum length are highlighted in yellow. If they were over the max length, they would be highlighted in red. If they were within spec, there's no highlighting. To tune for length, it is important to note that only the nets needing additional length can be tuned. Let's make room for the accordion routing that is used by the net tuning. To use the length tuning feature of Altium, click on Route, pull down menu, and then select Interactive Route Tuning. Now with the crosshair, select the first net to tune. Once we have selected the net, hit the Tab key to open up the configuration window. Looking at the net tuning configuration window, click on the style drop down menu. Note there are three types mitered with lines, mitered with arcs, and rounded. We will start with the mitered with lines and then show the rounded. Now the size of the features can be adjusted here with the max amplitude and gap settings. The increment settings allow for the adjustment on the fly using shortcut keys comma for decrease, and period to increase the amplitude, for example. Now hitting OK, we see the accordion being added to the selected trace in the indicator providing feedback on the added length and switching to yellow when we are within the rule range of min-max. There are other shortcut keys available to adjust the accordion. To find them, hit the tilde key. Notice the ability to increase or decrease the various accordion attributes using the simple shortcut keys. Selecting another net, we can hit the space bar. We can switch to the arc style. Now sweeping the mouse, we add the arc length watching the tuning indicator. Once completed, the accordions can be adjusted. Clicking to select them, we can adjust the spread or height as long as we stay within the rule requirements. If we want to redo completely the accordion, simply use the Remove Loop feature in Altium by adding a straight line over the accordion to remove it. Opening up the PCB rules again, let's look at the other length rule. Here is a rule for the differential pair class of nets. Note the min and max lengths. Closing the rules, let's use the differential pair length tuning tool. Click on the route drop down menu and then pick interactive differential pair length tuning option. Now in the PCB, click on one of the differential pair nets and remembering the tab button if we wanted to set up the type of accordion, we can now add the needed length. With the diff pair tuning, both nets are given the accordion at the same time. Opening up the PCB rules again and looking at the matched length category, let's click on the match lengths within this rule. The rule for the diff pair class recording diff requires each differential pair to match within 20 mils of each other. These rules were enforced while the length tuning was being performed. In this module, we covered length tuning for nets and differential pairs using rules and the interactive length tuning tools. Please do the exercise on length tuning.